Tripoli's gold market has become a hotspot in Libya's economic crisis. Families from all over the country are coming here, trading in their dowries and heirlooms to keep afloat. I can't afford to cover my family's needs currently. It is impossible for all Libyans to be able to afford to cover their family's economic needs, even if their financial situation is good. Even if someone owns a company or works as a businessman, they all have problems. The dinar has fallen about 200 percent on the black market since early last year. The drop in the currency's value has accelerated inflation, which is estimated to be as much as 30 percent. Many Libyans have lost trust in banks entirely, and they're keeping their wealth at home. They're trying to avoid lines like these at Libya's cash-strapped banks. Libya's crisis stems from its low oil exports, the country's only major source of revenue. The country finally reached a milestone this year when it got oil production to around one million barrels a day. But that's far below what it was before the uprising that toppled Muammar Gaddafi. And the six years of unrest since then have taken their toll on the country's institutions. We must mobilize our efforts. We are talking about an extremely dire economic and financial situation, one in which we have surpassed the red lines. The central bank has proposed a financial reform package, including a revision of the dinar's exchange rate. And it says all Libyan parties must unite to bear responsibility for the crisis. But without one unified government, let alone a budget, it seems the only quick fix for now is selling gold. Chelsea Carter, TRT World.